Hi everybody, this is Linda and welcome to my channel. Um, to guys, I have not been on here for two weeks. Um, I have been fighting bronchitis really bad. So, um, yesterday I decided to go out to our hometown per Christmas parade and uh, it kind of got it all back again, but I knew I didn't want to put off this um, uh, video any longer. Um, if I get coughing, um, it's because when I start talking, it, um, it I, and I have to cough. So. Um, what I got is um, several trips to Dollar General and I wanted to share with you the crafty items that I found there and some other little items and some books that I found from Ollie. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to kind of go rather quickly. I don't want this video to be long. So first thing I found was these cute little mini trees and they were only a dollar. So I always need trees at Christmas for our little villages so I found those. And I also found these cute little stackable trees. So there's three trees in here and they just kind of slide up into each other and they're graduated in sizes. Um, and my little lispy, I'm just going to put it out there. I do not have my uh, dentures in. Um, it's just too cumbersome with this bronchitis. So I just left them out. So little lispy, just bear with me guys. <laughs> Um, I did find these uh, three gift tags, um, really cute, um, like a, he's really cute old fashioned -y kind of Santa, so I thought they were really cute, so I got those, and then I did find this ornament, it says Merry Christmas, it is tin, and it's a nice little size, so I thought that was really cute, and then here's uh, a, just a little bit bigger count, or a bigger size of trees, found those. And then I did find these jingle bells, these little um, 30 count, and there's different sizes. I uh, got these beads on this little um, garland, and I thought it was really cute. They had uh, these out also for fall, and I thought I could take this apart and use these beads on something else, like on the end of a journal or something for Christmas. So, um... Stay tuned at the end because I'm going to explain what I'm going to do here for the 12 days of Christmas on my channel. Um, here's another little pack. Four count. Okay. Um, I found this cute little Mary Oh So Bright tag. Um, I thought this was really cute. I've got some other little uh, items like this that match. And I, bought, I got this for my craft room. I thought it was so colorful. And I think it'll be cute in here. So, let's see, what else did I find? Okay, I'm going to show some stickers that I found there. So, I found these puffy stickers of Santa. Really cute. It has from Santa and all that other stuff on it. And I found these with the cutest gnomes in the truck. Really, really cute. hope you guys can see that. I don't know if you can. Yeah, all right, and then I bought two of these. They're really cute. Okay, and let's see what else. I picked up this little countdown Christmas. Um, I got this for my kitchen, put on the table, and this is just chalkboard, and you can just write how many days till Christmas. Really, really cute. They're only a dollar. Okay, and then the other little merry and bright this is like a little shadow box which would um, be cute to add a little Christmas scene in here which I think I might do um, it's watching uh, Stephanie Garrett and she gave me the idea she's gonna be doing some shadow boxes and I thought oh my goodness that would be so cute so I thought I could repurpose something else that you know that would be a really miniature kind of cute uh, little shadow box so Thank you, Stephanie, for that idea. That um, I'll give her credit for that because um, I would have never thought of that. So, thanks, Stephanie. And um, 
Oh, I had to get this. I love the little um, candy cane and this little ink pen. Really, really cute. And then, um, let me gather them all up here. They had these holiday ink pens that are it's really cute. Now they got this one with the ivy and the poinsettia. Or no, I'm not ivy. It's um, hollyberry and hollyberry leaves. They're a dollar. And um, when you punch them, it says, In this day a child is born. And it says, To crown us with joy and... I cannot read it. Oh, the joy of heaven. And they, there's just different sayings when you click the pen. So I got two of those. I'm going to send one out in some happy mail. And then the other is this one, red with the angels. And they all have their different little sayings in there. Just little um, inspirational. And then the other one is this one. It says Mary. Well, it says Christmas angels, and that's what's on it. And this one said faith, hope, and love. And this one here just said spirit of Christmas. But they're really cute. I think I got, um, I think there's like one more left, but I didn't grab it. Um, also, now these are Christmas gifts. I hope my girls don't watch this. I got um, this one pen. It has little doggies on it. And it's like this. And then the other one has just little kitty cats. Really, really cute. So I'm going to put those in her stocking stuffers. And this one says best friend written on it. Um, and also at the dollar store, they had these really cute, um, a whole display of these highlighters. They are by Zazzle from Zebra, which is a really good name brand. These are liquid highlighters, so, and they're a dollar each. And I picked up one of each color, and I'll just show you all the colors that there are. And I thought these would be good for journaling. Also, um, Bible journaling, art journaling, really for anything you want to use a highlighter on. But my goodness, look at all the colors. They're gorgeous. So, so, so pretty. So I found all those. And then um, I found three books. I'm going to move this so you guys can see. I found three books at Ollie's. And the first book I want to show you, I don't know if you like Bible journaling. Um, but I want to start Bible journaling in the new year. I have a perfect Bible for it. It has pages that you can color. I've had it for several years and have not done only but one page. So I saw this and thought this would be good for inspiration. But in here, there's also things that you can add to your, um, to your Bible or even in just a regular, um, scrapbooking book. There's a few pages and things you can color if you want to add. And then up here, it just shows you all the things that you can do in your Bible to just enhance it. And, you know, just really do that Bible journaling. But I, I specifically have a Bible to do this in. Because it has the, on the columns, on the sides of the page, it has where you can do your coloring it's like um, they're printed on like the uh, little prints that were back here it's like this stuff here um, also in this book I thought it was really neat these are tear out pages and in here these are printed on vellum paper which I thought it was rather neat and you can use these on anything you want so um, and you get it quite a bit I think you get five pages five or six and that's what they look like and then there's the other. This is more faith based. And then there's things you can make, um, like book tags or book marks, actually. And then, yeah, there are just so many. And this was only um, $1.99. $1.99 for that book. I couldn't believe it. Um, and then the other two books. This was the Zentangle Drawing for Calm and Focus Mind. Uh, $3.99 for this book. But this book gives you prompts. To start to, like here's the practice, Zen, uh, they're called Zendellas, and then you can do them, here's what the ideas they give you, but throughout the book there's just different prompts 
different things to get you actually drawing. And I've been doing some of this drawing, um, oh, a couple, several weeks ago. Just kind of started out drawing one item and, or like a, um, it was a butterfly, a flower. Then I just started drawing more from it, from the shapes that I took from that picture. And I had that here real quick and I will show it to you. Um, but anyway, this book is really neat. I really like it. It's um, a lot of inspiration. Gets your mind. Like here is spirals and swirls. And then down here is where they give you these prompts. And then you can start to draw there. So this is a nice little neat book. Let me grab that picture. Okay, here is what I did a few weeks back. And this is what they call Zentangle kind of started with this flower and then I just kind of went on and added on and drew some different things in there uh, there's a turtle moth butterfly kind of lots of flowers and um, another little butterfly there there's a little worm uh, let me see what else um, just it was just really fun to do really um, I really enjoyed that um, the next book I'm almost done is this urban sketchbook it was $3.99 and in this book a lot of landscape people just sketching <coughs> oh excuse me and shows you how to watercolor over your sketches. I just thought this book was really good for inspiration also. Like I need another art book. My goodness. I have so many guys. So many and I just keep buying more. I'm addicted I guess. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do um, for the holidays for Christmas here. I'm going to do the 12 days of Christmas. So um, December 12th starting through <clears> the <throat> 25th and I will be doing a craft every day. Um, mainly I'm going to be transforming the crafts that I bought at the Dollar Tree and showing you what you can do with them and <clears throat> painting them up, decorating them for Christmas and for the holidays. So every day there will be something different. Um, so I thought that would be a good thing to do, to use them up. And I even have some from last year, which I saw that they even sold again this year. So I'll do those too. There's wood items. Um, there's just some paintings I want to do. Um, I want to do some a uh, couple watercolor days for Christmas, like um, winter scenes. Just different things. Um, I thought it would be fun. Uh, if I can keep up with it, it's, I think it's hard to, um, especially on the holidays, to film every day. So, um, especially with you being, me being sick, I have, I don't have my voice back yet. So, um, but thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys staying. I know it's been a little while since I've been on. Um, thank you to the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. I am pushing for that 1,000. It's so hard to get there. Oh my. I wish I had it because there's no way to come to communicate with you guys unless I go on Instagram. But um, I'm not on there very much and I really need to be on there more. So um, with that being said, I just want to just uh, let you guys go with that little information. And um, thank you again and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye guys.